<laughs> hello? Okay, hello. Uh, yeah, sorry, you missed an uh, entire game worth of commentary, <laughs> but it's good because I said some things that shouldn't be said on stream. That's true, yeah. <laughs> but I had the mic off, so it was just the three of us talking to ourselves. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you know how we made fun of the guy for missing Lito last round? We, we, yeah, we just four, missed four of us we missed, missed clicking missed a button. Lito. <laughs> but in any case, uh, for those of you who didn't join us, we were just talking about how, uh, you know, like um, yeah. Ryan is a lumberjack. And he's okay. With uh, what do we do on this? Transition? Oh, transition yeah, okay, we got to transition to the ads. Don't worry, boys. We're going to transition back in. Oh, no. okay. Is it a safe okay. stream? No. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to figure this thing out. Minor technical issue. Really quick. Game capture. Uh, Wait, what? Properties. <coughs> oh, this is... No, 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 no. What is this? New camera right. Yeah, try. Okay. Deactivate. Activate. Ah! Wow. Yeah. Figure, there we go. figure it out. Replicate. Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay talking to yourself. Yeah, I used to say, I, <laughs> my mom used to tell me it was okay, but you know. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of friends when I was a kid. Uh, I do have a lot of friends now. 32 of you joining us here at Games uh, for WPNQ. This is going to qualify the players for the players' tour in the mm -hmm. Goya. Yep. Uh, Ilhom just lost one round. So Ilhom just lost one round. So one it's going to be one up to Ryan, Ryan Lowe. Ryan Lowe, Ryan Lowe. Uh, most famously, Ryan's contributions to my magic career have been uh, n uh, spelling the name of our team wrongly. <laughs> Commandos. Yeah, so we were named the Siege Gang Commandos, and in I was I was tired, and Ryan filled out the form, and then we didn't check his spelling. Turns out Commandos is spelled D-O-S, not uh -huh. D-O-E-S. Okay. So at the start of the round, the judge announced Siege Gang Commandos. <laughs> 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 and then we all knew we made <laughs> terrible error. Um, but there are no those here, it's all elks. Yeah, no those here, all elks. <laughs> oh, Brian, <laughs> with the jokes. Okay, edge roll innkeeper. Uh, we all watched that first game, we all saw <laughs> Ilham get cleaved to high oblivion. Um, Ryan, starting off with a less aggressive uh, draw, <laughs> getting poked for one by Ilham's <coughs> edge, edge wall innkeeper. And this is going to be a follow up edge wall. Yes, two wow. edge walls. Ilham, max value, always looking for value. Getting them draws. And Ryan, you know, in a bit of a tough spot, but he's got knock. He's got legions in. Legions! Holy oh, crap! No. Oh. Ooh. 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 I, I felt it from the commentary booth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, those of you at home, uh, those of you at home, you you you. This is round three. Too. This is round three. Kotaro X. Uh, round three, so Ilham is one zero one, <laughs> uh, and Ryan is two zero, and Ryan about to be three zero, I think, from uh, <laughs> uh, from uh, destroying two bold. of his creatures. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, creature. Ryan actually never haven't having played this card too much. So he's like actually reading the text of this card. He's like, is this card as good as I think it is? <laughs> and he's like, Ilham, yeah. yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I guess, I, I I guess he's he's looking to see if you search the library as well. I guess. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Probably Being extra greedy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, do I get to extraction you at the same time? Two powers. No yeah, 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 yeah. So Ilham's like, so Ilham's, Ilham's, Ilham's just head in his hands. Just sulking. Like, I can hear Joe and Ben talking about me coming back, coming, coming back to work. Yeah. Okay, okay. So he's gonna put a one-one into play with uh, from Love Struck Beast. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan's gonna draw for uh, his turn, and Ryan's not. Ryan ain't afraid of no one-one. He's gonna untap. He's gonna play a giant dinosaur. But but uh, Ryan knows that Ilham has a Ranko in hand, so I don't think he wanna develop oh, a bot okay, for. Okay, okay. So he knows about the Ranko. Yeah. How does he know about the rank code? Because you just end, you see your opponent's yeah, hand. That card is amazing. <laughs> 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 so yeah, uh, Ilham has a very good hand. He has Questing Beast and rank code. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So he just manages to go over the top of Ryan. As, as well as one Mother Strider. So. Right, 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 right. Unless Ryan has like Mind Rot or something, right? To knock out two cards. There's no way he has Mind Rot. There's no way he has Ryan Mind Rot on his deck. <laughs> so it's interesting that Ryan chose to be the like controlish player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But time. I think it's... It's because it's on the draw, I guess. Yeah, it's on the draw, so he has to pick that spot, right? So here, Ilham has an interesting choice, right? He can he can probably play this the questing, uh, this either a questing beast or this. Um, Definitely the oh, what an interesting choice! Ranko, so he's gonna try and draw more cards, right? He's gonna uh, he's trying to to, to turn some of the duds in his hand into into live draws. Mm -hmm. so but yeah. you see, uh, now I know his hand. His hand is questing beast and a uh, and a uh, murder charger. He don't want to discard. Yeah, he's not going to discard. So what's he gonna do now? He, I think he can just chose not to do anything. Yeah, he choose not to do anything, obviously, right? <gasps> oh, I think. Oh, I know what he was playing around. He's playing around with the the black black lancer paragon. Okay. okay. Because he if he want to get get uh, he doesn't want his his uh, questing beast to die to get blocked. Yeah. Yeah, but he could have, he could have played um he could have played the love struck beast this turn, right? 
Yeah, but that's just my inefficient because you're on turn four. But isn't it darts into studs? Uh, wow, lovely. Darts into ooh. ooh. <laughs> yeah. Damn. That's a good. That's a good phrase. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> on a magic stream, okay, it's fine. I think. Yeah, in yeah. some clubs in, in Singapore, places, probably not. Yeah, yeah. So, so Ryan had the black the lancer, lancer paragon. So he he did flash it in. Yeah, he did flash it in. So <laughs> Ryan on the, in the control position here. Uh, shocking himself. Shocking himself in a shocking turn of events. Mm, probably might want to play. What is this? Yeah. Noxious grasp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like. The grass is gonna get his creatures anyway, right? Uh, like what does he gain from the? It's pro probably playing around the that as well, uh. And what's happening? Is this some way you can play around it? Like he's gonna get one of your dudes at some point. So what did Ryan just cast? Uh, the Weathermall Captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the the, the black white, white, white black one, yeah. Death Touch. Let's have a look. Weather. No, uh, Weathermall Captain. I, I can't remember. <laughs> no. Huh. Wintermall. Wintermall. You are the standard expert. M O O R O O. Yeah. Commander. Wintermore Commander. For those of you who don't know, like me, Wintermore Commander, Jon Snow. Um, two plus <laughs> two and power is star. Yeah. Uh, power and toughness. Toughness. toughness tough just star. toughness. You go number nine. You control. Yeah. He's death touch, and when he attacks, another target knight you control gains <laughs> indestructible. I mean, now uh, Ryan is still leaving up uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah. and a black, so he could also... This is an interesting rank. He could still have another um, yeah. Black Lancer Paragon. So, Ilhom is still playing around that. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's not going to play his Questing Beast into so one and black. Card a card. Oh, interesting. Turning his duds into duds. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is easy. An easy position for him to play the, the Questing Beast. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The lo Love Struck Beast is in his... his um, Exile zone, right? Mm -hmm. In game based on uh, the he passes. Oh, he's passing. Oh, so he has he's keeping murderers right up. So he's worried about uh, Ember Cleave, right? A situation where mm -hmm. this figure is going to take care of the Myers and Myers on very clean, right? It's also kind of disabling the Love Struck Beast. Hmm. So yeah, Ryan in an interesting position. I think he's going to be well positioned to race this Rankle. Another. Are you surprised that Rankle's still in the deck? No. No, I don't think so. R but Rankle is isn't it poor against a deck that just floods the board with a bunch of one or two drops? I guess because he, he didn't see much of the deck. He only saw a Rotting Register, so I guess he assumed that. But you know the deck is <coughs> knights, right? Like it's not it's not Madu tree drops. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if Madu knights. If, um, uh, <laughs> but Rankle is just so good. It just goes above. Okay, right? yeah, it flies. Yeah, yeah that's pretty key. So yeah, Murderous Rider is gonna take care of. Uh, is that John? Is that old John Snow? Mm -hmm. Old Johnny boy. So yeah. Wait, it was already at five. Yeah. It was like five because because you know yeah Rankle doesn't do too much. The black I guess the black lens paragon has been beating almost yeah, every yeah, time. Yeah, and like what do you do here? Do you play the knight? Do you play the questing beast? Like Ryan don't care. Ryan's gonna play Ember Cleave next turn. Yep. So now he's. What is my opinion on Pioneer is viability? It would be more viable if it was closer to the center of Singapore. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> no one's no one's gonna get this joke. No one's gonna get this joke. It's an international audience. <laughs> it's not. This guy lives in Singapore. I know for sure. He used to work at the store. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, that's my phone. Okay, so he dropped the stone once. If you're anybody keeping the running count of Ben and the stuff he normally does, tell bad jokes and drop his phone. All right. So yeah, uh, looks like Ryan yeah. had the re had a removal for the yeah. So this is pretty, uh, pretty questing tough, beast, right? Like so. he's removal of the questing beast. Like the rankle attacked. So like, what do you do? You choose to sack. But sack, if he's bad, man, you gotta sack, <laughs> a you really sack your four mana creature, and then you gotta sack. Oh, yeah, okay, Jon Snow dies, as everybody knows. <laughs> Spoilers. Uh, uh, so Ilhom is deep in the tank. Yeah. Should he attack, or should he just block? <laughs> oh, wow. So Ilhom is really, really behind. Yeah, Ilhom is so far behind. Like, he's so far behind, he might come out ahead. <laughs> Like that's how far behind he is. He's just gonna go into the next game. Is there no next game? There is no next game. He lost. He lost. This is it. Yeah, Ryan and his motley crew of black and white men. Yeah. Yeah, he can still play the murderous rider, but Ryan passing a mana open is. Yeah. Okay, I think if he can double spell, it's okay. But yeah. if he single spells this turn, it's pretty bad for him. He he will. He, it looks like he didn't draw a land. So okay, okay. He has a paradise druid, and then he's yeah. gonna be able to murder his rider. 
Okay, okay, okay. We still got a game, boys. It's not a great game because the that's a two three against a three one. And right? uh, and it's yep. a, it's got it's got first strike. No, no, there's no first strike. There's, there's no, no first strike. Yeah, yeah. But another black lens paragon would mean that he has first strike. No, right? it's no, death, touch death touch and lifeling. Life yeah, death touch and lifeling. For those of you who uh, like me, this is a oh, uh, his own his own rider. rider. But black lens paragon, three one deals a lot of damage, my friends. Three one is nothing to laugh at. So another removal spell here would take. Oh, but he can't remove that because of uh, the hex proof on uh, paradise. Uh, he just needs the but he just needs an ember cleave. He just yeah. needs to cleave. Cleave to win. There's no way he drew it. <laughs> Spin to win. Because he won't slow roll. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Ryan is not a slow roller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's playing his. What is what this? Is this? Oh, it's the. Uh, claim knight. Yeah, a cl a claim knight. A claim champion. champion a yeah. Bad, bad militia bugler. Tutor for the. Knight not not tutor. Oh, is it? He gets his ember cleave. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's like in ancient stirrings for equipment. But you have to review. You have to review. Yeah. Because uh, how else will I know it's an equipment? <laughs> that's true, that's true. You could just take anything. <laughs> <laughs> like <in> Ember Cleave. <laughs> it could be anything, even Ember Cleave. So he takes another copy of himself? Yeah. Oh. He finds himself. That, my friends, is what we call a combo. <laughs> 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 combo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Should just play an adventure creature. Play around grass all game and then not anymore. Exactly. That's what I mean, right? Like, Kotaro, my point is that, like, how do you play around grass all game? You like, shouldn't. You shouldn't play around grass all game. You just play... Like it's like playing around days. <laughs> like if you have a deck that you cannot play around days on turns three, four, five, and then six, like you can not draw days. land. Does he draw untapped land? No, no he draws another draw draw druid. Which means that he doesn't necessarily lose right away. Yeah, he can but just like go. Uh, you just go druid into yeah. the into the love trap beast. That's true. That's true. He can play his own love trap beast as a blocker. Yep. Right. Druid and love trap beast. Yep. Tail as old as time, boys. Tells all his time. Mm. Love trap on defense. <laughs> Strong as he can be. <laughs> Are you gonna sing? Barely yeah. even defense. <laughs> <laughs> then somebody ends. Okay, that's it. No, no, no. <laughs> Someone singing. See your boys. She all have fun. All right. <laughs> <laughs> looks I'm like. Gonna sing in a few minutes. Looks like Ryan didn't draw Ember Cleave again. I did not draw Ember Cleave. He's like, I now I know why Ben says that this deck is Ember Cleave. <laughs> So he'll probably just search again, right? Like look at the top five. <laughs> Thanks, Johan, for for yes, yes. He's gonna play. It. He's gonna try and go wide around the Ilham's bot stage. Ilham's mm -hmm. bled a lot of value this game, so there's he he is running low on cards. He just got one card left in his hand, mm -hmm. and drawing a land this turn was not what he wanted to do. <sighs> one out. Yeah, Kotara, I agree. Like I don't <coughs> think the four mana creatures are where you want to be. I think you want to be the control deck. You want to have like. Um, fine finalities. Yes, you want to have a bunch of your adventure creatures and uh, you know Edgewalk, Innkeeper, and Noxious Grass to get rid of the white creatures that are in mm -hmm. Ryan's deck. Even mm -hmm. though you didn't see a lot of white creatures game one when you lost, um, you have to think that they're there. <laughs> Interestingly enough, Ryan misregistered his deck on M MTG Arena. Played Madu, but had an overgrown tomb in his deck. <laughs> 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 I mean, that was when he was trying out to play like Groove Spellbreakers and stuff. But yeah, 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 yeah. but that is. I thought he just ran out of wild cards. <laughs> yeah. So this this, this is this is this is an interesting uh, questing beast though, right? I mean okay. it, it can't it can't be blocked. It can't yeah, be blocked. Can be blocked. It can't be blocked. So, so it's gonna it's pressuring Ryan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he'll he'll just put Ryan down on one. Puts Ryan down on one. Um and pray Ryan don't doesn't draw a cleave. Ember cleave. Yeah. yeah. But if he has cleave, Ilham still can represent grasp, right? Is the Acclaim champion a tree tree? Uh, it might oh, it the, might be a tree tree. Is a, a tree tree. It might be a tree tree. I'm not sure. A claim contender. contender. It is a tree tree, so he has a viable block. But mm. this is a block that sets him pretty far back, like, right? Because mm. he, he's not gonna be able to trade. Well, what is he? How how can he double I block? I don't think he can block with the yeah. Mother's Rider. Right? Yeah, Mother's a two three. Yeah. Yeah, Mother's Rider is a two three. Uh, um, a this is, is this a judge call? He has like a pump feature. Wait, that, that's just that's just straight up illegal. Okay, hang on. <laughs> go, go fix it. Okay. Yeah, R Brian. Brian's gonna go fix it. I will continue to talk to you about uh, magic cards. Um, and yeah, let's just have a look and see what else is there in play. What's that one in play? Th is that a card that pumps up the night or something? Oh, it has a thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. We didn't we didn't check the card because uh, we couldn't see what it was because it was too shiny on the screen. But never mind. Let's not blame anybody. The trade happened. It pumped. It 
there's a spell that pumps it, right? There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a champion in play, yeah. right? Something, something that pumps it. We see the Akkad are wrong. It's an inspiring veteran. It's not a weather oh, I think. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it's the, the Night Lord. The Night Lord. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so the, the Black, Lord. So the Black Lands... The Night Lord. Isn't that the guy that, you know, <laughs> lives beyond the wall? Yeah. <laughs> also, it's, it's, a, it's a totally uh, Game of Thrones... <laughs> Yeah, it's a Game of Thrones team deck. It's the Night Snow. It's the Night Lord. Actually, Jon Snow might not even be in the deck, actually. It might just be Night Lords. Oh, yeah, it just be Night Lords. Because we saw the eye from me. And there's even the, there's even that that the the monster dragon, the, the undead dragon, Rotting Register. Yeah. 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 I don't actually know the names of any characters or any magic cards. I just know what they do. <laughs> and the characters and what they mean in the show. Like there's the Dragon Queen. I don't know her so name. So this this is why Ilhom is a solo because the Black Lance Paragon has been hitting for ah, four. Ah, it's been hitting for four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clearly, me and Ryan, me and oh wow, he top picked fine finality. <gasps> Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Uh, so now he's probably thinking like he definitely puts it on the on the Paradise Druid. Definitely puts it on the Paradise Druid. Wait, fine finality? Yeah. You just cast finality. You mock yeah. the board. One, two, three, yeah, four, dude. five, six. Isn't that, that's, is that is that a kill? No, no, because he can't attack with the the thing. He can't attack with the beast unless no, yeah. No, there's no, there's no, way. no, there's no way to make he a has one. He has to. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So you why 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 will it die with the finality? It, it gets plus. It, it, it get plus you put four counters. counters. You put four counters first. You can find. We can find. Find find finality. Find how many? Okay. Oh, it was only two. Two counters, boys. Oh. So. so then, then everything gets minus one, minus four. So, uh, s- seven minus four is three. So the the beast can't even turn himself on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I turn. <laughs> so you, you 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 can make. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. You make Love Shark Beast a one one so that he can attack. Yeah. So, so he so he can turn himself on. Let's get the the terminology clear here. Oh, he found he found a land. He's a land. Oh, so he's returning. He's finding. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. So he's gonna so take take a questing beast, beast and a and a rankle and a rankle. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. He's gonna get aggressive with so the. He's gonna get in- aggressive with the questing the beast. Yeah, the beast, right? Because yep. the beast is a forced, a forced four, four. four. Yeah. Right, because it has it is a four four. The claim contender is a four four. Yeah. So right, yeah, so right takes it and hopes to draw Ember Cleave. Yeah. One time, and Berkeley. Nope, the mountain. But drew a mountain, so he's happy. He seems to be. Yeah, he seems, seems to be, to be pretty animated. Like, yeah. it's not the usual Ryan <laughs> approach when he's like, oh man. So he's trying to look for the Berkeley now. No, a murderous rider. He's got murderous rider. Okay, killing. This. He's got rider on the on the beast. Right, down two. Goes to two. Seven champion. That's seven champion. So that's that's the Yeah, he attacks. Yep. Oh, that's the game. What? That's the game. Yeah, that's the game. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Madu well, Knights. I guess you'll be asking Ilham to go back. Yeah. <laughs> Madu Knights. No, unfortunately Ilham is one one one. So technically one, one, one. he has a way out. Yeah. Next round, next round he might join us back at work. Uh, but for those of you, uh, forty nine and fifty, almost fifty of you who are watching us, you can join us for the next round pretty soon. Uh, this is Grey Over Games. We stream Tuesdays. Well, we used to stream on Tuesday, but now we don't. We stream on Wednesdays and we stream all our monthly events. So that's uh, one yeah. monthly, depending on whatever format it is for the month. I think next month we're going to And premier events such as this. Pioneer. Yeah. Oh, are you going to Explore Pioneer. Pioneer, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's closer to my house than the store, but, you know. Uh, and Legacy. We'll do, oh, we'll exactly do a Legacy. Like next month. <laughs> we'll do Legacy next month. Uh, and we're also going to be able to do <laughs> premium events like these. Uh, all these videos are going to be on YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, you will miss about the first 10 <laughs> to <laughs> audio, of audio. Of audio because the three, four of us who were sitting here missed the fact that we had the mics muted and uh, just chatted for like 12 That's minutes. Okay. There was no <laughs> cleave. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no cleave at all, Kotaro, but it didn't really matter because he had the Fervent Champion to, yeah. to, uh, to break things wide open. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it yourselves. And uh, this is Ben and Brian and uh, Joe, Joe and our guest star, JPP, signing off. Thank you. Do we have a replay set up? No.
Hello everyone and welcome back to our monthly series here for the Grail Games Invitationals 2019. It's the start of October, so this monthly is for October. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside... Oh, we got no nickname for you, eh? Did you, did you have a nickname the no, last time you came on? I, I don't remember. Okay, it's just Brian Lim. It's just Brian Lim. It's just, uh, just... No, Brian. no, no, no. Randall is just <laughs> Randall. You're trying to steal Randall's nickname, is it? No. That's not how it works just here. Just Brian. <laughs> just Brian. Only, yeah, Brian, Brian the commoner. Uh, do, you like Life of, do you watch like Life of Brian? The Monty, Monty Python? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's like Brian Brian is the commoner. Like, born <laughs> right... Is born right next to Jesus. Oh, yeah, so the, the whole story is about the life of Brian. La. So, like... F. Oh, no. F. Yeah, pray F for your respects. Uh, so, it's all about him just being, like, downtrodden. So, because, like, Jesus is the chosen one and then he's... <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, feels bad, man. Feels Brian, man. Yeah, the three, the, the three, three wise men, like, started giving gifts to and then who, they thought, the thing, who they thought was Jesus. Jesus. And then they realised, like, oh, we... Followed the wrong star and then they took all the gifts <laughs> back and then gave it to born in the same stable. <laughs> bad, luck, bad luck, Brian. Bad luck, Brian. Yeah, bad luck, Brian. That meme, remember that? <coughs> anyway, it's uh, Hirozude. He, Hizarudin bin Zainal versus Jose Mon. Jose Lau. Yeah. Jose appears to be on some sort of Mono red? red Is deck. That red yeah, deck? it looks like a red deck. Yeah, and he's a uh, well. We'll see. We'll see what he's us uh, playing. So I like that they changed the color of the. Uh, they changed the color of the life counter. Oh. It's supposed to be red and blue. He's out. Uh, what are you doing, man? Did they actively change it? Yeah, oh. they actively changed it. Last last round, it was red and blue. Wait, uh, yeah, it looks like maybe the Jose is on blue red. I can't really tell. And uh, looks like Hiza uh, is also on some sort of red deck. White red, looks like green red. Green red. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Um, green red. I, th I think like the oh, yeah one of the premier. Is, is it the crazy look, deck that you passed? Look, look at the forest. You see? Oh yeah yeah. Is this is the crazy deck that you that you gave to me, the crazy list with the no, fires. No, no, and all it's definitely the not Jeskai fires. Uh, it's just not uh, Golos fires. Golos fires. Uh, yeah, Pell Collector. Oh, Pell yeah. Collector. Okay, so, so it's, this is deck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gruel Agro is um shaping up to be I think one of the better aggro formats, uh, aggro decks because of, you know. But uh, it's you I I imagine it's slower than like the mono red. Mono red deck. I mean, mono red. There are two versions now. There's the Cavalcade and the uh, Experimental Frenzy. Uh, uh, yeah. The uh, the, the, the Steamkin, Steamkin, yeah, Steamkin Experimental Frenzy, which uh, grinds you a bit out more. Um, but yeah, you know, as a burn player, I don't even feel like mono red is even that good now. But you know, but it's lost. It's lost a few. It's lost quite a few. Uh, lightning key. strike, Wizards lightning. There's two key burns. Oh well. yeah, dude. That's like that. Those are powerful, and damn powerful yeah. spells. So, you know. And Pyromancer, yeah, that's two damage. Young Pyromancer. The, uh, no, what's that? Uh, the yeah, Vyashinomancer, Pyromancer. Vyashino, yeah. yeah. Vyashino, Pyromancer. Pyromancer. Yeah. Oh, so it's Gram Gully. Okay, so it's... What? <laughs> yeah, it's... What? What? <laughs> Is that Gram Gully? Yeah, yeah non, that's... Non-human creatures, EDB with a 1-1 one -one counter. So things yeah. like... You know, maybe a questing beast comes in as a five five. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Jose. <laughs> Looks like Jose is playing um Blue Red Phoenix probably. <sighs> maybe it's a Blue Red Phoenix, but like he's got that giant that deals two damage yeah, to yeah. I mean, two mana good. for a shock. I guess it's good, it's but good, like but you get a four three you get a four three body for like three mana. That's, so that's a good rate, yeah. Adventure cards are amazing. Yep, two for one. I think they are really, really good. Uh b but we hopefully will see, you know, we'll see adventures in like all different colors. I don't think there's any irrelevant, uh, two irrelevant uh, adventure cards. Mm, or yeah. this the discard. He's got the discarding guy, the haggle, haggling dude. I mean, I mean, the the worst, the worst adventures are, you know, I would say is red uh, and that's and they're the and, pump, and that's still pretty good. Yeah. And that's still pretty good, right? Like yeah. the haggle, haggle is a pretty good card. Like discard card, discard a card, draw a card, then. You know, the ability that the creature has on itself is this card, card, draw card. Yeah, it's but you pay three mana for that. You pay, I've, dude, well, when, you're, when you're in the late game, like, it helps a lot. I mean, I ra you you rather play, like, third of possibility, you know, instant speed, uh, versus two things. True, yeah. that's true. Uh, so, Brazen, I believe that's Brazen, uh, um, Brazen something something. Brazen Intruder. 
borrower. You mean that the the oh brazen flash? borrower? Yeah, yeah. Did he bounce anything? What did he bounce? I don't. Yeah, think he so. bounced the uh the the three three dude. Ah, Grom Gully, Yes, Grom okay, yeah. Cool. So yeah, he's haggling again. All right, gonna discard a phoenix. I assume. Yep. Discard a phoenix. That's one spell. That's one spell. I don't think he can trigger this. Not yet, right? Yeah. Oh, he has op though in hand. So okay, so the dream, op. the dream is still real. Okay, right, so I'll op. try to find another haggle. Bottom this, bottom this land. Yeah, <laughs> so that's All bottom right. draws. Draws. Nope, draws another land and the phoenix. Well, no, oh. he's gonna he's oh, gonna burn out one draw. guy. And yeah, yep. there we go. Lava coil All right. gets rid cool. of and gets a phoenix back and beats. Beats, the yeah, easy, easy game. All right. Blue so this is the, the I I think that's like not enough, right? But I but I see how uh how the blue red phoenix deck is using adventures to its advantage. Yeah. But adventures are are sort of like tuned down, actually tuned down like uh sorcery cards, sorcery instant cards. The fact that you're paying two mana for shock. Yeah, but not that great. Uh, at mythic rate, you're paying two mana for return. But return for target for mana, that's also which. Uh, oh yeah, it is permanent, it's huh? Permanent. It's permanent. Oh, good. That you is crazy. Bounce. Wait, I think it's non-land permanent, right? Non-land permanent. I'm pretty sure it's permanent. Can't be permanent. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of brazen stuff. Brazen borrower, yep. Brazen borrower. Yep, non-land permanent. And permanent control says. Oh land. man, that's such a good card. This is this. Uh well, obviously it's uh it it's it like names its price right. Like it, it it's a uh, it's an expensive card. Uh, but it does so much. And Petty theft is such a powerful ability, especially at end step. And then you got a three three. You know your opponent's trying to. Oh, there he goes. That's his own giant. Yep. Yep. And it looks like he's casting his own giant. It's gonna come in as a five four. That's huge. And dealing with the Grom Gully trading. You wanna trade? No, three three four four three. Yeah, I'll Ooh, trade. Nice. I trade. Yeah, there's a, there's a anthem effect right there, so he could get. I mean, like you can get rid of the of the giant. Can you get rid of the giant? Um, I mean, he I just he just used his lava coil, so he has to find another lava coil. Mm. But each time you target a giant, you are taking two to the face. Okay. This oh card, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. A, It's not just a three mana four. That's three, true. Right, right, right. With upside, okay. It's got upside. <laughs> yeah, I forget about I forget about that that uh that trigger. It is uh it is what is um you know keep, it's fat. It's keeping mono red together along mm, with mm, like mm. Thorburn and Frenzy and Steamkin. <laughs> uh. I think the Steamkin deck has a bit of legs. Yeah. Uh Cavalcade is actually like as a mono red deck, right? Cavalcade I think is, I dislike, is pretty good. I dislike Cavalcade. You do not like Cavalcade? No, it goes against everything that is red. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean why are you a white winnie's deck? <laughs> why are you playing one one for one? Well, hey man, it's good man. Cavalcade, Cavalcade is like we pay one for three damage to the face, not <laughs> one for one one. Cavalcade, Cavalcade is like a combo, combo wombo yeah. deck, right? It, you and know, if you like, don't have Cavalcade, like it's, it's a bit tough, bus, yeah. Right. Yeah. Cavalcade and Torbor or bust. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, All right. So swings in with the giant actually actually manages to break through. That's interesting. I didn't think that Jose would have let that go. I would have just blocked. All right. Puts it at the bottom. Uh, what what will he have blocked with the the merchant? With it, yeah, with both with the, both the merchant and the uh. No, Brazen Borough can only block creatures with flying. Oh yeah, okay, that's true. Yep, uh, three one that can only but block uh, yeah. creatures with flying, so that's real bad. That's that's basically <laughs> uh attack every attack, turn, attack right? Attack every yeah. turn, yes. <laughs> just change, just change the text, man. Like <laughs> <laughs> Brazen Borough must attack every turn. Must attack every turn, yeah, exactly. Our oh, Electromancer is here to do some defense. Defense, defense. No, no. What are you talking about? What Electromancer? No, this is Improvised Alliance. Uh, it's Enchantment, right? No, that's Electromancer. Goblin Electromancer. No, no, no. Wait, what? Dude, Ravnica. Oh, fuck. It's from Ravnica. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, shit, dude. <laughs> Dude, it was never it was never reprinted. Oh, in, it, it was only reprinted in Ravnica. Oh, it reduces your Bone Crusher Giant Storm to a shock. Oh. Oh yeah, Reducing that's true. Of adventures. Ah, that's a that's uh, a damn good idea. Just blue and summon, and summon non land. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, not even and summon blue um displacement. <laughs> Vapor snake. <laughs> Vapor snake. <laughs> but can hit do it hits all non land permanents. That's actually a good idea. I I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah, uh, so blue red draw to oh, it wow. Chumps, he chooses 
chooses to charm, I would like trade that so off he values in a heartbeat. The, he values the merchant over the electromancer. Well, Jose has only got like one card in hand. I would have I would have traded both, right? Because like yeah. you, one card in hand is not enough for the can, merchant to he only get. Can kill one. Cause you block as a as a four five. A two three and a two two. No, the 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 giant's a five four, oh, dude. Yeah, it's yeah, a four three, right, right. four three that, that uh, hits back. That, that's so small, I can't even see it. Mm. Alright, so Jose is a bit is falling a bit out. He has seven lands. That's why he I mean like that's what and the um the haggle, the merchant is the merchant is four, right? right? But I don't feel like it was worth it. I think he could have traded off the two and then Mm. Alright. So he's he's going to attack with the brush. Yep, you must attack. Of course. <laughs> yeah. There's no reason why he should not be attacking. What <laughs> 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 what is the three man that he tapped for? Or two, uh, two, 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 two yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, so now All he has to do is all his uh, needs need to do is just to get find rid. a questing beast. <laughs> just find a questing beast. <laughs> <laughs> just draw it. Just, just easy, easy, right? Just easily. Stop that beast, yeah. Just get rid of the uh of the merchant. The how big is the belt collector and now? The, just a tutu? Yeah, it's a tutu. But I mean like all the, the paradise druids and all that, they're like tutus. They're two they're ones, ones, right? So if you just beat with all he uh, Jose will be down with one. Yeah, why don't you just right. beat with all? Right? Oh. What? Oh, oh Groove Spellbreaker, okay. Alright. And that should be game. I that think. should be game. Unless he has a response. Counter target spell. Uh, yep, spells on a stack. If not, everything will be hexproof. Uh, no, well, no, 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 no. spellbreaker, spell you, you, you can't, yeah, but you can't counter it either, right? You, you, you can't counter it? Wait, what? Grow spellbreaker. Grow spellbreaker. <laughs> nope. Uh, there we go. It can be counted. It can be counted. We've not seen oh, it can be counted, right? We've not okay. Seen this in a while, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, you know, Hiza just turns everything sideways, gives it his, turns everything sideways, and uh, yeah, Jose bites the dust. Green red aggro. Doing Do it well, well? Yeah. The Grum Gully is an interesting choice. Jose's playing what? Blue, Blue red, red Phoenix? Phoenix? Yeah. Yeah, this is uh these are not decks that I would have <laughs> thought would be that great, right? But like Hiza Hiza is showing otherwise. Uh I think it's a great tempo deck, right? Uh but you know there there doesn't seem to be that giant finisher, that great big huge finisher. In yeah, in green red. Costing beast, man. Questing, <laughs> Questing Beast is not a <laughs> Questing Beast is not a finisher. Questing Beast is like a it's a good card. Questing Beast is you card. take for every turn. Full stop. That's true. That's true. <laughs> la. But I mean like, Questing Beast is a great card, but it's not like a finisher finisher, right? It's not like when you drop this card, like you're going to win the yeah, game. that's true. It's not like, um... Uh... Like Galta? Yeah. Like Galta. Uh, Galta. You drop a Galta, you drop like, uh, you know, Steel Leaf. It, it's very akin to like Steel Leaf Champion. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Questing Beast is like a one mana, one mana extra Steel Leaf Champion that you actually get to attack, uh, attack straight away. Yes, yes, there's multiple. I think there's at least one Bangolos deck. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Does everybody hate the Golos deck? I think I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, the the Golos deck seems like it's it's looking to be the the deck to beat. You know. Yeah, that is uh, you know, it's going to make up a lot of the meta game, um. And and some like variants of Golos. It's they're, fun. They're it looks doing fun. so well. The Golos decks are doing so well that they are main boarding agents of treacheries to beat the mirror. Okay. Wow, <laughs> just to like take your Golos. That's no, hilarious. No, no, no. It's to take the feel of this. Oh, take the feel of this. <laughs> ah, okay. That's a that's a good point. Because that's a good idea. Because the whole point about the Golos deck is it's it's, it's inevitability is is there. You know? Yeah, yeah. So if you I mean like if you wipe the board like once, twice, right? Like your opponent just doesn't have doesn't have it in them like, to, to do get you back. actually have more bot wipes than I do have lands in my deck? And uh. even if you're playing against let's say like control, right? Control you can't stop the uh, land of the dead from triggering. Yeah. Can you? No. Tomic. No, even no. Hushbringer doesn't trigger uh doesn't stop. It only yeah, stops because that's yeah. The only like 
answer to Fear of the Dead now is Unwanted Ego and Assassin's Trophy. Mm. Is there any destroy target lands? Uh, I mean, they are in red, but they all cost like four and, stuff, oh, okay, and they just bad. do nothing. That's bad. Yeah. So Assassin's Trophy, Trophy and Armored Ego is your way to go to beat Golos decks. And then you have to be playing like black green, right? Uh, so. Sotai. I mean, Sotai is not bad. Sotai, you have like Oko, you have Modest Riders. I'm quite sure next set there'll be like a, there'll be a two or three mana enchantment that says all zombies, all zombie tokens minus two minus two. <laughs> right, like that's that's or like they will say as this card enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. All token creatures. No, but of that. Oh, sorry, enchantment, right? Yeah, enchantment. yeah, sorry, enchantment. All creature mm. tokens, like of that type, will get minus. Yeah, two, minus but two casualties of war cost six, and it only destroys one land, right? So yeah, and, and that's the you know that was <coughs> one of the outs. I was playing arena the other day, and that, that My, was like the, one of the outs. The fires, the fires deck. Yeah, yeah. So like destroy his destroy. His, his, his planeswalker. planeswalker. Uh, there was one planeswalker. There was one enchantment. There was like li- the the fear of the dead. There was a golos. It was like, yay! I did it. I did all of it. Yeah. Oh, there was one creature as well. So like creature, creature artifact, planeswalker yep. land. Yeah, there, there are cards like legions and yes, but again, again, it. Like only you stops have zombies. one. You have and you stops you for one turn. turn yeah. Right. The next turn, the guy's gonna get like a few more lands and then like put them on the battlefield. They will trigger like a thousand times. And then you're back to square one. Like, maybe you get, like, a, a flyer or something like that. Yeah. You know? If Crumble to Dust was legal, <laughs> if Crumble to Dust was legal, then there'll be other better oh, decks than I mean Golos. <laughs> like, honestly speaking, there'll be, like, everybody yeah. will just be playing Mono Red. Now, without Fear of Ruin, yeah, you know, Golos decks are just... Are, are running rampant, man. Running rampant, yeah, And, you know... Even, even I'm playing Go- <laughs> Golos, Golos Fires Dude. on the arena, yeah. You're disgusting, boy. Golos Fires, so fun. Turn four fires into Secretary's Root. Oh, it's it's <laughs> hella fun. Like I I can attest to that. Like it it's like playing uh what's the 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 one that untaps all lands? Wilderness reclamation. Yeah, wilderness reclamation. Why don't we play? Wait, uh, is it still legal? Yes. Yeah, that's still legal. Oh. but obviously it doesn't work with like fires. fires. Yeah, because you have to be fires insane. of invention. It's like Tony Stark. Tony mm. Stark like hammering away. Afian, don't turn off the aircon. Just like lower it. It's his reason. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, Alfian. <coughs> so That's um bad. I think as Jose, what would you bought in against this? <sighs> the improvised alliance to block to chum block make one one? <sighs> that I wonder if he's playing. That the, feels like a, a losing situation. I wonder if he's main boarding things like Iron Crack, Pyromancer and Royal Silence. Oh. Oh that's cute. Yeah. I like am, a draw to like change his deck to like a draw two deck. I think essentially you want to be you you I think the Blue Affinity deck just fits into a draw two deck, right? Because like the way you're drawing two is just through spells. And most of the time when like you that. draw you discard, right? A lot of times you draw a discard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, through yeah. a possibility you draw two dis- uh, you discard one. Haggle and, or the, the and, merchant. And Iron know. Crack Kind Crack Pyramancer is just a you know, repeatable boat. Is that two mana or three mana? Three mana zero four. Ah It's okay. <laughs> three mana like if you told me like that was two mana, I think that would be too That'd good. Be too but good. like it would be great. <laughs> it would be a great card. Oh, like it was a two mana zero shock. two. Two mana shock. It be it's still not good, good enough, you know. Because everything is everything now is X four, not even X three. Yeah, for seems that like, uh, for this set, especially if you've been drafting, uh, you know, X four is like the magic number. Four damage. If your spell deals four damage, like you have to put that in. Questing beast is a four four. Yeah. Um, the um. The giant is a four three. Four three. Uh, what other what other creatures have we been seeing today? I mean, hydro creatures normally lands as a at yeah, least a, a four four. four, four at right? least a four four. Or like if the desperate is a three three, but you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turn one pop collector into no two drop feels oh, bad. Oh no! Oh, it's not the start that I said we didn't once. All right, so four three on the battlefield. That's going to be taken out with a. Oh, is that, a fling that, is that a fling that I see in his... In oh, his that hand? is hilarious. Like, he's gonna, there's like... There's no way there's a fling, right? There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> it looks know. like a lava coil in in Hisa's hand, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's Coming no, there's no way it's a fling. Yeah, there's there better not be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, I mean, he is playing Colossus and... The Colossus <laughs> and um, what's that, though? <laughs> a little and bit Ga- of extra reach. Galia. C- Colossus uh, and uh, Collide? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, okay. The plus Why, six, just give it plus, plus six, six plus six. Plus, plus six plus two, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Colossus, yeah. Where is that? Collision, co- collision, collision Colossus. Colossus. Collision plus, Colossus. Plus four, plus two, trample. Oh, oh it Yeah, you guys can't see, can't, can't see this. Yeah, but plus, pl- plus four, plus two is like pretty good. What is on his field? His ass field? Is oh my field? gosh, he really is. Alright, so plus four, plus two. Gains trample. Is that going to be taken out by a removal spell? Yep. Slaying fire? Yep. Oh, it's going to get protect protection. Oh, oh and yo, second one. Yo, 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 Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, man. That's like eight plus eight plus oh, it's a cranko. four. It's a cranko. It's a cranko, dude. It's a cranko. So he gets a plus one, plus one counter. And then it makes that many tokens. What a what a play. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And then it hits for like eight. This is, this is the the one punch the one punch deck, right? Like <laughs> electrostatic <laughs> pummeler. <laughs> This is hilarious. And now he's got like a shit ton of tokens. And Jose's already down to seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh, he is playing he is playing uh, Scions. Yeah. Royal Scions. Okay, up. Alright. <gasps> Better find like this some sort of bot wipe. I don't know. I don't think you play there's no bot wipe in this card. Flame sweep, la. Flame, flame sweep. sweep. Flame sweep. <laughs> And there's oh, a handshake. No. And he's like, yeah, I know I'm screwed. Oh nah, boy. Yeah, and he that, have that fling. Is a fling. That is a fling. <laughs> he have fling too. Wow, what a 2 0 by his. Uh, That's hilarious. I, I would not have expected him to have this actually. Because it, w- it looked like a really mid rangey green right, red. Right, green red deck, right? Like, and okay, I'm going to drop threat on turn one, turn two, turn three, and turn it's four. Suddenly just. And then, like, burn One you out the rest of the way. And then suddenly, yeah, there's this, like, oh, I'm going to grow my Cranko to, like, a 10, 10, 4, 10, 10, yeah, 5. 10, 10. Beat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Man, and that, that, you know, that feeling if you're, like, he's out, right? You're like, yeah, ha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't yeah. even expect Jose to uh, sign in a flame seat because... If you look at game one, what, you did what, what like is, what every is the kill. It only kills nothing. Druids no, it kills nothing, dude. Like it's just <laughs> everything so fat. Everything <laughs> in his ass deck is so fat. Yeah. Right. Enters the battlefield with extra plus one plus one counters. You know, it's got uh hex. Yeah, it just looks like a red green. Red green fatties, right? Fatty deck. Yeah. No, even he's even playing Yorbo. Look, see the green green green. Uh, right. It's uh, just it's just fat guys. But I guess he just drew the different side of his deck. You know? <laughs> like it just the. <laughs> but plus four, but okay. But plus four, plus two. When you're playing this out of deck, right? That doesn't, uh, you know, that gets out damage like relatively early, uh, you, you know, damage. yeah. And you need either a bit of reach or you just need like damage to go through, right? Like the at the end of the day, he's gonna get blocked by a lot of uh, small creatures. Looks like his main boarding fling, cause he's not he's not deboarding. Yeah, I think fling is fling is pretty good. Like, can you imagine somebody tries to get rid of your giant, and then you like fling the giant so in the guy's do face? Any fling yeah, man. so that's like six points of damage. Six points of damage. You waste one of their cards, right? And it, it's it's uh, I suppose it's it's like you mentioned, right? Even Reach. better if they murderous rider and lost four life. And then <laughs> lost four life, <laughs> like lost two, lost two, deal two. No, I'm gonna fling you, fling it at you. Four. You get four damage. You good with that? <laughs> and then shock you again next turn and cast another one. Uh-huh. Woo! Woo! All right, he's on the crazy builds. Uh, we'll be back in about half an hour's time, so don't go away. Remember, join us on the stream Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Twitch.tv slash Games. If you're on YouTube right now, do join us on Twitch and uh, interact with us there because that's where we that's that's where we're, we're monitoring, right? Yep. Uh, watch all the replays on youtube.com slash Games. Finally, do check us out on all our social media feeds, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, we'll be right back. See you guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our monthly series here for the Grail Games Invitationals 2019. It's the start of October, so this monthly is for October. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside... Oh, we got no nickname for you, eh? Did you, did you have a nickname the no, last time you came on? I, I don't remember. Okay, it's just Brian Lim. It's just Brian Lim. It's oh, just, uh, just no, Brian. No, 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 no. Randall is just <laughs> Randall. You're trying to steal Randall's nickname, is it? No. That's not how it works just here. Just Brian. Just Brian. <laughs> oh, yeah, Brian. Brian the commoner. 
Uh, do you like Life of Do you watch like Life of Brian, the Monty Monty Python? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's like Brian. Brian is a commoner, like born <laughs> right is born right next to Jesus. Oh. Yeah. So the the whole story <laughs> is about the life of Brian lah. So like. F. Oh no. F. Yeah. Pray for your respects. Uh. So, it's all about him just being like downtrodden. So because like Jesus is the chosen one, and then he's. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, feels bad, man. Feels Brian, man. Yeah, the three, the the three three wise men like started giving gifts to and then who Brian they thought is the who they thought was Jesus, Jesus, and then they realized like, oh, we followed the wrong star, and then they took all <laughs> the gifts back and then gave it to. Born in the same stable. <laughs> bad, luck, bad luck, Brian. Bad luck, Brian. Yeah, bad luck, Brian. That meme, remember that. <coughs> Anyway, it's uh Hiro Zude he he's a Rudin bin Zainal versus Jose Mon Jose Lau. Yeah. Jose appears to be on some sort Mono of red, red deck. Is that red yeah, deck? it looks like a red deck. Yeah, and he's a uh, well we'll see we'll see what he's uh, playing. So I like that they changed the color of the uh they changed the color of the life counter. Oh. It's supposed to be red and blue. He's uh, what are you doing, man? Did they actively change it? Yeah, oh. they actively changed it. Last last round, it was red and blue. Uh, yeah, it looks like maybe the Jose is on blue red. I can't really tell. And uh, looks like Hiza is also on some sort of red deck. White red, looks like green red, green red. Oh yeah yeah. Um, green red. I, th- I think like the oh, yeah one of the premier. Is, is it the crazy look, deck so that a, you passed? Look, look at the forest. You see? Oh yeah yeah. Is this the crazy deck that you that you gave to me? The crazy list with the no, fires. No, no, it's definitely the not just sky fires. Uh, it's definitely not uh Golos fires. Golos fires. Uh, yeah, pelt collector. Oh, pelt yeah. collector. Okay, so, so it's, this it's is agro deck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, grew aggro is um shipping out to be I think one of the better aggro formats. Uh, aggro decks because of, you know. But uh, it's you g- I I imagine it's slower than like the mono red, mono red deck. I mean mono red there are two versions now. There's the cavalcade and the uh experimental frenzy. Uh, uh yeah. The, uh, the, the shell. Steamkin, Steamkin, yeah, Steamkin Frenzy, Experimental Frenzy. Which uh, grinds you a bit out more. Um, But, yeah, you know, as a burn player, I don't even feel like Mono Red is even that good now. But, you know... But it's lost It's lost a few... It's lost quite a few... Uh, lightning key. Strike, Wizards Lightning. There's two key burns. Oh, spells. yeah. Dude, that's like... They're, those are powerful, and, damn powerful yeah. spells. So, you know. And Pyromancer. Yeah, that's two damage. Young Pyromancer. The... Uh, no, what's that? Uh, the yeah, Vyashino Mensa, Pyromancer. Vyashino, yeah. yeah. Vyashino, Pyromancer. Pyromancer. Yeah. Oh, so it's Gram Gully. Okay, so it's... What? <laughs> yeah, it's... What? What? <laughs> Is that Gram Gully? Yeah. yeah non- that's... Non-human creatures, EDB with a 1-1 counter. So things yeah. like, you know, maybe a Questing Beast comes in as a 5-5. <laughs> <laughs>